Welcome to Living Martial Arts with Master Ray Gale, aka The Dark Master. Living Martial Arts discuss and examines the everyday exercise, philosophy, and lifestyle of the martial arts enthusiast. The host talks about his own training, past and present, and he also interviews many martial artists to discover how they continue to live their own martial arts journey. Tune in for top tips on how to get the best out of your martial art. Or perhaps you're thinking of starting a martial art. This podcast offers you an easy way to dip your toe in. Sign up for the newsletter at livingmartialarts.com and get regular updates and training tips direct to your inbox. Follow the Dark Master on Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram at Living Martial Arts. Hi, hello to the Living Martial Arts podcast fans. It's me, the Dark Master, and um, I've got a fantastic, fantastic guest here today, somebody uh, that... I've known for a very long time uh, from a young boy, uh, look, looked up to, to him along with many other people. And, uh, and you'll find out the reason why, reasons why. Um, he's a lovely person. He's a martial artist. Um, he's a caring person, um, not just looking after himself, but looks after many other people as well. So I'd like to introduce Mr. Lloyd Russell. How are you, Lloyd? Good afternoon, Ray. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure and honour, honor really, to be talking to you as well, because you're a celebrity as well. Well, do you know what? It, it, it's, it's, we've got lots of things in common. You yeah. know, gr- growing up in Bristol, we went to the yeah. same uh, secondary school, albeit you're a little bit older than me. Yeah. Um, you know, our families, uh, you know, we're, we're first generation as Jamaica in Bristol and things yeah. like that. So we've got many things in common, many um, trials and tribulations that we've been through. And yeah. the other thing that we've got in common was we, we both had a passion for martial arts, along with a lot, a lot of black kids at that time in Bristol. So the first thing I want to want to ask you really is is about your your journey, how you came to do martial arts and um, perhaps some of, some of the things in the early days of your training. Of course, like, I, like you said there, Ray, I'm a little bit older than you. And in my yeah. day, it was... The, the, the man himself, Bruce Lee, yes. Bruce Lee, and all you know, all, all his films. Watched at the cinema. We, we was oh, we just 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 enthralled us Every, as as young people. Just yeah. had to do the martial art kung fu, and that was yeah. my start of martial arts, doing kung fu, Lao Gar. Oh Lao wow! Gar. Okay, I, yeah. I see. See, I, that's one thing I didn't know, and a lot of people. Yeah. I know I've, I've done this podcast, but a lot of people don't know that I actually started with karate. I used to wow. go to I used to go to the school at Totterdown. Um, yeah okay uh at that time which was quite had quite a reputation yeah and um i remember i was quite tiny as i still am but there's some big yeah. guys there yeah and I, mem- I remember going in there and uh getting punched and coming home my mum said did you get hurt i said yeah but it was great <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> so, so, so that's I, it. Go on. I, I run ironically I, I i i um i done kung fu and i got a good to a good level there and yeah. i went from there to totter down and then and that's where i branched into the karate world as I am yeah. to, to, to reach my fame, to be honest. But similar, same paths to you, Ray, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. but it, it, it was an interesting time. I mean, I, I don't know, for for me, as I say, growing up in, in, in Bristol, and there was a, a really good uh, karateka who used to live down the road, which was uh, Mr. Henry Cornwall. Yeah. Um, bless him. God and bless him. I, I used to see him going off, and he always used to have a kit bag, and I thought he was going to dancing. <laughs> I actually yeah. thought he was going, and then I, I learned out later on that he was actually doing a martial arts. So I, I don't know how how well you knew him. Well, he was my he was my team partner, Henry. Yeah. We were yeah. team partners for for many years. We, um, fought for Bristol, I gashed you together. But yeah. Henry Henry at that time was a a very unique, a freak of a fighter. He was yeah. he was very talented. You know, right. yeah, he, he was natural, very yeah. natural. Yeah, yeah. He, he, and and it's funny because I think that that word gets used sort of quite often these days. Uh, but you know, after after finding out he was doing karate, I remember hearing things about him. I yeah. remember seeing him fight and thinking, "Wow, th- this guy is special. This guy yeah. is special." And yeah. he se- he seemed to be very he seemed not to be phased by anything. No, and a very humble man at the time. Very yes. humble. Yes, yes, he he he, he was he was. Oh, who, who else did you sort of come in? Con- I know I know you've got a lot of uh, karate friends, and you know we've got some some joint friends as well. Yeah, of course, of course, of um, course. So, but who else did you come in contact with? 
Well, but at the beginning, like I said, I done count on um, Kung Fu, Lao Gar, and my, yeah. and my team, our colleague then was the, the great Winston Greenwood. Yes, yes. Oh, fantastic. Uh, and again, Winston, Winston Green, Trevor Johnson. You yeah. had Trevor Johnson, he was a world champion. They all ended up world champions. Um, Winston yeah. was a world champion. You know, yeah, yeah. So we, we was all talented amongst those days, amongst my brother. My yeah. brother was very good. Tennis Russell, he was good. Yeah, yeah. There was Florizel Downer. He was yeah. very good. Yeah, yeah. You know, there were some icons back those days, you know. Yeah. Clive Smith. Yeah. He was good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very talented, you know. Well, I, it, it, it's it's an interesting thing because I, you know, sometimes when we talk about martial arts and you talk about sort of different different areas. And, yeah. You know, I, I know quite a lot of people in the Liverpool scene of martial yeah. arts and around the country. But I don't think people realise what a depth of talent there was in Bristol. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, right. Because back in the day, obviously, um, back in the 60s, um, well, you're talking 60s, 70s, mm. you, you know, Lao Gar was, was the number one, in my day, was the number one yeah. martial arts sport. You had, um, you know, you, you had icons like Steve Babs, Neville Ray, Frank yes. Lynch, all yeah. of Master Lao. He was, yes. yeah. you know, Henry Lao, you know, all these guys, all these icons, yeah, they, they were they were gods in our days, you know. To to be fighting with these guys and fighting amongst these guys, it, it, you know, it really puts you on a good good stead in martial arts, martial art words. And and in those days, Ray, fighting was fighting. It's not. It wasn't pretty. No. It wasn't pretty because, like you said, Bristol in Bristol ourselves, we had many, many, many big fighters and strong fighters. And we had to, yeah. you know, when you go to Birmingham, Wolverhampton, back in those Kung Fu yeah, days yeah, I'm yeah. talking, you yeah. had to, you know, fight for Bristol. It's for Bristol. It was, yeah. with a, you know, it was one of, the, it's one of those things. Yeah. Was, yeah. There was no hiding places though back in those days, right? <laughs> no, there, there, there wasn't. That, that's for sure. Uh, sort of coming back to the, to the, the Lao Gar, I, yeah. I, I was actually, when I was young, I was, I was dating a young lady. And yeah, I, f I found out her best friend was uh, a lady who I was still in contact with was was Valerie, and then I found out that Valerie's brothers was uh, the Allens. Allens, uh, that's right. Yeah, the Allens who were also, uh, you know, down in Bedminster at that time, and very, very good as well. But but the Allens came after, you know. Yes, I mean, yeah. I, 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 they are where they are now. But I, yeah. I'm, I'm 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 talking right at the beginning when Laugar very first came to Bristol. You know. Yeah, we, yeah. You know, we trained together, and we we we. we and as a Bristol there, we formed a formidable Bristol team around the country. So, yeah. you know, you got to give it yeah. for where it started from. You know, it, it was massive, massive. Yeah, yeah. So, um, it, you know, you, you talked about Bruce Lee and, and myself, you know, I, yeah. I was I was influenced like a lot of people at that time. Yeah. But, but, you know, we, we used to go to, um, I can't remember the cinema, they used to have an all-night um, yes. sh show and we used to, That's I used right. to sneak out That's with my right. buddy, buddy Mark and go watch these that, things. That's <laughs> It was great. It was amazing, wasn't it? It was amazing. <laughs> yeah, we, we were all used to come out jumping over bins and walls. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, in those days, Ray, it was innocent. We never, you know, we wasn't looking for no trouble. It was all innocent. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, it was it was glorious days, which I will never forget. You know, yeah. glorious days. It, it was fantastic. And let, let, let me ask you, really, yeah. um, as, as I mentioned, uh, I'm, I'm talking about more about the, the black community, and there, and there were, yep. you know, I had some some uh, some white friends that were very very good at martial arts, but, yep. but there seemed to be this sort of camaraderie, uh, and it almost seemed to be a, a, a place and a thing that the the black youngsters, the black male youngsters, could get together and really really get out a lot of frustration that was going on at the time. I, I don't know how you feel about that. Oh, absolutely. You and you and you said it at the beginning. I mean, our our parents. They yeah. was they came over from the, the Caribbean back in the you know in, in the Windrush days and they and, mm. and they they settled in Bristol here and they and it was like it was like a mass one massive Caribbean families you know yeah. all our families were close mm. so it, it wasn't a surprise to me that all the young black kids and were, were close also and yeah. you know we was always gelling together you know as a yeah. unit as one you know so you know I'm at the age now I'm I'm sixty six coming up and. You yeah. know, and even got, I can remember the days clearly when we were small, we were always playing together, you know. Yeah, Doors yeah. were open. You could go yeah. in anyone's homes. If you, yeah. you, if you were short of sugar, short of, you know, anything, you can always go 
you know, go to your next door neighbor. It was, yeah. it was, it was beautiful. Yeah, I'll never yeah. forget it. Beautiful. Yeah, and that was that was nice with, uh, uh, as well because I think particularly for um, you know the, the the children, the children coming up, the families being so close to each other because they had that that bond. Of yes. coming from Jamaica. Yeah, uh, we we all, we all always sort of had the the same frustrations because Jamaican Jamaican parents were very typical, <laughs> you know, all, all out. And I remember yeah. sh- sharing stories with some Jamaican friends. And so my mum said this. Yeah, my mum said exactly the same thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, and, and one thing we all had in common in, in every house was that sign, Lord is the head of this house. Yeah, the sign of this house. The sign that you walk in through there, you yeah. see the sign of Jesus and the Lord yeah. is the head, you know, and it, yeah. it, was, it was predominantly in every Caribbean's home, you know, it was, you, yeah. you know, because we were all God-fearing people, you know, as, as well. Yeah, well, I, I think that was right. And, um, I, I, you know, I, I, t- I talked to some people uh about it now and they say oh you know how, how were you brought up I said I was brought up very straight I was brought up in, in a Christian uh, society where we had yeah. to sit down we said grace before we yeah. we ate we said our prayers at night yeah, um, yeah. you know and yeah. there, there was no there was no debating about that you did it no absolutely <laughs> you know? and, and, and that that was that was the way it went well so kind of come back to the to, to the martial arts and um, yeah you know s- some of the things that you uh, yeah that you did in the past you know we mentioned a bit bit about uh, henry cornwall and, and some of the other guys yeah um what what, what about yourself how, how did you how did you find the sort of early early competitions how how well did you do yourself did was it something that you took to um you know i i i, I put my hand up i don't think i was a natural a natural at it to be honest you know i mm. you know i had to work hard you know and I listened to my sense, well, my coach or my sense at the time, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and, but I was good at following instructions, you know, and yeah. if, if you want to get to a certain discipline, you have to do certain things to get your discipline training, you know, sure. stretching, your exercising, practice every day, every night, you know, I don't yeah. religiously, you know, and yeah. as time gone on, I, you, you know, I, I, I developed, I got better, I got more yeah. confident, you know, back in, again, you know, cause I was young. Yeah. And I had older brothers and older, there was older people around me. I was, I used to automatically think they were better than me because they was older than me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just one of those things. But, but you yeah, know, yeah. as you, you, you got, oh, as I got older, I got more confident, you know, and then yeah, you started yeah, yeah. winning your internal competition, competition within your own club. You start winning little events, yeah. you know, being a yeah. part of team events. Then you're going out, expressing ourselves part of Bristol teams, going out to like Gloucester and, yeah, places yeah. like that and, and, and you know and you and then when you win your first competition it's like sky's the limit isn't it yeah 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 de- de- definitely did you, did you uh, uh, you know for, for me it's getting dark here one second i'm going to switch this light on so you can yeah. see me one second yeah. <laughs> I'm switching, even though folks this is not on audio, this is only on audio but i'm switching <laughs> the light on so we can see each other um i there was a real transformation for me because i i um you know trained um, my, my karate, no matter to taekwondo, yeah. and, then, and then about eighty, and, and I said to people that at that time when I started competing in taekwondo, it was open weights. There was no weights. <laughs> okay, yeah. you just went, you just went yeah. in there, however big or small you were, and yeah. you fought, you fought yeah. each other. And then in, in about eighty two, in taekwondo, they brought in weights. Yeah, and yeah. I sort, of, I sort of came into my own. And yeah. In '83, I went to Los Angeles for my world, first World Championships. Yeah, and and it was the first seed that was planted about me coming a, a martial arts teacher. Uh, okay, bear, bear in mind, I had a very good job, very well paid job at the time. But yeah, in, in my head, somebody planted a seed, and I just wondered whether you, you know was that ever an option for for you, um, or was it something you, you didn't think about? Well, it was something I didn't really think about. You know, yeah. um, I, you, you know. I, I like being part of the team spirit. I'm all, I'm a team player, really, more so than yeah. an individual. I yeah. I've won many honours for, for for being part of a team. I've you yeah. know I've won the event for the team, you know, and I'm, yeah. I'm the, like the fifth man, and it's yeah. all on me to win. The, and everything relied on me to win, and you yeah. know, and, and and successfully, I I done it on many occasions. One, you know, we won British championships, English championships. You know, I won. You know, but I suppose it's, it's the confidence I grew from over the years. You know, um, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I, you know, I, I got, I had clubs which you know, 
I, I wanted to help others, but that's what yeah. we're just getting on to what you're, you, what you've done as yourself, yeah. right? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 been a good uh, a good thing uh, for me, and I don't regret any of it. It's been a fantastic journey, and I'm still on that journey. Uh, and as I say to everybody, I'm not going to stop teaching at least slow down until I'm about ninety five. Um, yeah. I might think I might think about it, <laughs> but. Um, the, the, the other thing, and if you're listening, Winston Williams, I'd love to uh, listen to this. I'd love to chat to you as well, because... Um, De- definitely another icon, Winston Williams. He, yes. You know, he's in the modern era, era and he's, he's, he's taken to, to the level we are now as well. So he, yeah. he is part he is part of the history, yeah. the, the martial art history to present time, to present day now. So, yes, yeah. definitely. Well, I'm, I'm going to make a, a little bit of a, a, a sort of a, a side thing, really, in yep. a way, because... Um, it, it was uh, it was an interesting thing, and I, I think people list people listening to this, um, and I'm sure those that know you will know. Those that don't, some of my members who won't know you um, mm. won't know what type of person you are. You're a very caring person, and you're actually um, when my youngest uh, lad yeah. James was at James, school, who's now James. who's yeah. now he's now 31. James is now wow. 31. And, you're making uh, me Ray, you're making me feel <laughs> old, man. You're making you, me feel old. <laughs> he, he's, he's he's 31 and um he bless him uh, he, he was he was un, under your tutorage and yes, you, were, he was. you were a mentor at his school i was uh, yeah. so so the first thing i want to ask you is how how did you get into to mentoring and it's it's something that i've i'm doing myself at the moment you, you, you know ray in life you know i i, I think i sometimes i'm as if i get a calling from somebody you know i i, I over the i, I before you just contact me i, I was thinking how have I got where I am now? And I'm thinking, you know, over the years, I've, I've done so many, many good things out there. And I, it's only because I'm now I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking, wow, I should write a memoir of myself because I, I've done many, many things. And, and you know, when I was young, I, I was very obviously obedient to the families and things like that. But I had another side to me, Ray, when I was younger. I used mm. to get involved with, you know, I used to sneak off and get involved. I was getting little troubles, Ray, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but but I wouldn't take it to that level where, I, you know, I always in the back of my mind, if I get yeah. in trouble, my parents, my dad, my exactly. pa, you know, yeah. so I always had that back. So I never took it to a certain level. But all those early years, I did get in trouble, Ray. I'm not, I'm, yeah. I'm not shaking me. I got in trouble. You know, I got involved with football and things like that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and, but get, that goes down in now because when I was at school, I was very talented in all sports. Yeah. In rugby, football, cricket. I was yeah. all, you know, I was very talented, and and yeah, and it, and it brought me in good stead to say, well, you know, sure. I just want to take it to another level. And then when I left school, and think, obviously, I'm, I'm blown up. I left school, got diverted a little. Think I'm, I'm a bit, you know, I was, I was into yeah. everything. I, 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 I suppose I'm trying to say I didn't find me. I was yeah. I had my head in every little thing, you know, and yeah, and in the end, martial arts saved my day. Martial arts saved my day. Um, yeah. rugby saved my day I was fit I was going to I'll tell you Bristol Empire Club has a lot to say as well Bristol oh, Empire yes. Sports Club that was oh, the, yes. the foundation because I, I believe it wasn't because I was good it's because I was fit and I yes. was fit because I used to go to Bristol Empire every yeah. other day on the men's day I was there but, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Till, well till it closed so I was there from the age of 13 yes. to the day it closed for yeah. 40 odd years and it kept you know it was my foundations you know yeah 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 and and, and, and then that brought me on to obviously i got into older life like you i went to i got a job into british aerospace mm. i built myself in there i was a senior shop steward and i have yeah. always i've always loved communicating with people i love helping people i was a senior shop steward and then uh, during those days you know I, I decided to take up my i like to teach people i thought so i started taking teaching karate clubs in Yate Leisure Centre. I was yeah. there for fifth. I had a club there for 14 years. Yeah, Yate yeah. Leisure Centre, as well as yeah. competing. So, and I was, they say my club was one of the cheapest club in the country because I, yeah. you know, I just, someone could come to my club and change up for, and train for one pound 50. Yeah, when, yeah, other, yeah. when other clubs were charging five pound for yeah. one pound 50. And I, I had a large club, uh, but I was not yeah. interested in money. I just yeah. like to help people, right? Yeah, and yeah. I've always, I've always had that ethos. I love to help people, you know. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. then I, then I, then I got into aerospace. I left aerospace, and I thought, you know, again, a calling, a calling. I needed to do something else. So, 
I decided I want to help families. So I, I, I got, I, I was fortunate to get to uh, employment action for children. Yes. Bernardo's. Yes. Bernardo's. Um, Education Action Zone, which was massive those days, and they gave me the opportunity, not as an individual, as a black person as well, to so that yeah. could help people. And that's where my my helping it was a beautiful job, you know, Ray. You know, yeah, the money was not great there, but you know what? The fact that I can help families and help people and young people, it was the beginning of me. I was finding me, you know, and sure, and and that, and that's how it's gone on to where I am today. You know, I yeah. just. I've always been, and then I, and then from from there, I was able to work in the schools. I got an opportunity that they wanted my, myself because I was going in there as an outsider. And yeah. the school, Fairfield School, then back in the days, decided they want me there full time because I had a good yeah. presence with the young feet. With the young, in those days, it was you know St Paul's back yeah. then days was, was was a tough, tough, tough place, you know, and was, they wanted yeah. a black role model to. to to, to help the young people. So that's how I started that mentoring inside the schools. So yeah, yeah. And Fairfield gave me the opportunity, even though I went there as well. So I did go there as a young man. Yeah. To, 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 and that was the start of me helping young people, Ray, to be honest. Yeah. Well, it, it's, it's, it's amazing because, uh, like, like I said, when I look here, I, I see so many parallels with mm. myself. You know, I, I actually I, I didn't spend as much time at Empire as you did. But I yeah. remember going to Empire and, and going through their circuit. They had a little circuit, didn't they? That's uh, right. Used, used to go through. You know, I'm also uh, still at Yate Leisure Centre. I've been there for about 35 years now uh, yeah. te- teaching my, my my taekwondo. Yeah. And also of late, I've been asked to be a, a black mentor for um, black and, and mixed heritage children in Wiltshire. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm just on the start, start of that journey. And um, I, I think what you're saying there is so right, you know, the ability to be able to help people and to, and to leave, you know, the, the, I know the word is used often, but legacy, leave a legacy for people yeah. to say, well, actually, yeah. this person was just about helping. They were about helping other people yeah. and, and giving up their time. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and, I, and I, I really applaud you for that because, yeah. you know, when I talk to people and people mention you, that's what yeah. they talk about. They talk about a person who is, is giving, um, who, um, you know, it's it's not about them; it's about the people that they help. And the, yeah. the other the other thing I, that you haven't mentioned is that, and I don't know uh, how this is going, but you you also were part, and and this just goes to show what sort of, sort of person you are. You you were helping the homeless; you were feeding the homeless. In yes, yeah. Are, are, yeah. Are, you, are you still doing that? And how did that start? Yeah. I, 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 again, again, you know, we, I, again with me, Ray. I, you know, I. It's not that I get bored with things. Sometimes I get bored. I'm not saying I was getting bored with martial arts, like that, but I have to find a new challenge. Yeah. And and with me, I have to find you. I still have to find a challenge. I'm, I'm always up for the challenge. And then one day, my uh, I'm talking about probably eight, ten, eight nine years ago, my, my good friend Jasper, Jasper, Tom, Jasper Thompson, oh, yeah. Yeah. He, he's currently massive now in, in it. You know, he said to me one day, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to help the homeless. Do you want to do a, do a bit with me? And I thought, at the time, I thought, judging a book by a cover I said I don't really want to help homeless you know sometimes they can't help themselves he said, well, yeah. you don't know. He said you don't know till you try it don't don't judge people if you don't know nothing about homeless this is yeah. you know so, so talking eight years ago and I you know I, I, I sort of followed him one day one evening mm. and I fell in love with him I, I had a from the, the first very first evening I went spend the night with the homeless it, it wasn't what I thought in my head you yeah. know you read the news, you, you you know, you read the paper and you, you get a different flavour when you're actually doing it. And then I, I never looked back and and I'd done it then continually for eight years, eight years. I, I just helped I yeah. was every week, helping the homeless, yeah, yeah. listen. And what you've got to do is be able to listen. I'm, I, I, what I'm very good at, Ray, I'm very yeah. good at lis- listening. Yeah. You know, you, you have to, to help people, you have to listen, you have to learn, not yeah. judge, not yeah. judge, you know. Yeah. So, and then I've never been that, you know, mm. never judge a book by its cover, which I used to do. I certainly don't do now, but yeah. I'm a very good listener, you know, and mm. with the homeless, you know, when they eventually tell you their story is a real, it was a real eye opener to me, Ray. You know, I thought, mm. you know, I thought I had problems, but after listening to some of the, some of the guys, the stories they used to tell me about their personal lives, mm. oh, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I've seen a person 
die on the streets as well, Ray. You know, a few yeah, people yeah. die through there is cold and, and things like that. You know, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. and that's where I use my influence on my on my page. You know, you, you know, I have to thank the, you know, what yeah, good yeah. you put, what good you put in life is good you get out of life, Ray. That's all I, yeah, yeah. you know. So so I was, you know, I put, up, I used to put calls on on, on my page to support I me mean, with the homeless, and you know what, Bristol. More than responded to me, I couldn't believe it. And Peter and Lloyd say, Lloyd, people say, Lloyd, that's because you're you do all your good, you do good things, Lloyd, and people would help you, you know. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I've always had that ethos, you know. I'm not, yeah, I just like to help people, Ray, and that's and that's how the OMS is, is part of me, you know. I, I mean, I'm currently doing um, uh, mentoring still now, but yeah. my heart, I still do the odd case, you know, I, I am still helping the homeless, because, but to do them both for me, Ray. Was making me ill. I must say, too, but it was yeah. making me ill because it's you, you've got one extreme of life and you have got yeah. the other extreme of life, and to, to have that and have your own life as well, it takes is demanding, Ray. You know, but yeah. but yeah, but you just got you know to juggle juggle the pieces, Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 tough because I think think the other thing is is what you got to do, and you know when, when I was asked to do some mentoring myself, I was yeah. aware, I was aware that. You know, I've still got young kids, and I still need to look after them. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it can take up and just engulf all of your time. And obviously, yeah. I've still got my martial arts schools that, yeah. that I yeah. run and, and things yeah. like that. But uh, yeah, you know, I, I mean, you know, fair, fair, fair play to you on uh, on doing that and um, yeah. you know, do, doing it for for that length of time. If if only we had more people, you know, who are willing to just give up a little bit of time, and you had more people doing um a little bit rather than one very true rather very than one, true. one person or two people doing a lot that would be so much better wouldn't it oh absolutely it, it, it would lighten the load a little bit ray I, I, I totally agree with you my friend yeah totally agree. Yeah, yeah and i think i think that you know we're, we're at the end of this um this pandemic now and whatever we think about it unfortunately this will end up with more people um becoming homeless which is such a shame it is a shame um, you know people losing their their businesses and their relationships mm. and yeah whatever and th th that's what really that's what i find really tough regardless if there's anything else is that, is that people just for, for no fault of their own just end up on the street and and and, and ray of also don't forget the men the mental health is yeah. absolutely off the radar my friend yeah yeah, yeah. i mean i'm you must see it when in your mentoring. Yeah. I certainly see yeah. it all the time. Even young people have mental health. Their parents have mental health. Everybody, yeah. you, you know, and you think, wow, what is this mental health? You know, it, yeah. it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a massive, it's a massive thing. And, you know, there's there's young people committing suicide. Like You think, wow, you know, and I always put myself out there. If anybody needs any help, just ring me. They have my number. I put myself public, Ray. So I'm always contactable, you know, yeah. no matter yeah. What, in what field I'm at, I'm always contactable. And um, behind the scenes, I do get a lot of personal messages. People want just that little support, and I, yeah. I will go out my way, out, Ray, to help them. In, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it's 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 tough. Uh, I've I've been involved um, with a uh, in here in Wiltshire with a with a stroke club. Uh, okay. Yeah. For, for people that have suffered strokes, um, and you know, some of them are very young. Some of them are at the other end of the spectrum. Yeah. Uh, but you know those people during this pandemic. I mean, you know, they've suffered so much because that connection with other people. They used, they used to meet every yep. week um, at a at a at a venue. They used to go there and have a chat, and, and that those things were lifesavers. But, yep. but they, they haven't been able to do that, um, no. and and it's been really really tough for them. Really tough yep. because some haven't got the use of certain parts of their body. Some yep. of them their, yep. their, their sight. Um, yeah. you know they can't see so things like shopping and just general things yes that we take for granted is so yeah. so difficult yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah you know I, I just i just appeal to any anyone listening to this yeah. is if you can do anything no matter how small absolutely get get out there and do it ab ab absolutely you know just one little thing i totally agree with you ray one little thing can go a long way to helping somebody who's in in a massive need of help you know uh it's, you know it's like i know you you obviously invested into what you're doing now you're obviously yeah. martial arts and you know that's why maybe i've detached my way from it a little bit yeah. sometimes because you know as much as i you know i love my martial arts 
I, I think there's a, there's bigger challenges out there for, you yeah. know, and, and I think I'm in a fortunate position as an individual. I can support people better by, yeah. you know, yeah. the way I do things, where, you know, and yeah. it's, it's making myself self available. And I, I surely do that every day, right? You know, yeah. with, God, with God's help, you know, yeah. with, with our mums looking out on us all the time. I always yeah. say, mum, do you think I'm doing right, mum? You know, I always, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. Well, it, well, it's it's it, it, in a way, it's the it's the martial arts of life. It's fighting, but fighting for other people. Um, of course, of you know, course. Um, of course. Which, which I which I think, like I said, you know, with with, with martial arts, it's not about fighting other people. Generally, oh, no. it's, no. it's about it's about challenging yourself as an I, individual, and becoming a better person. And I'm telling you, I must be I must be doing my job well because sometimes I've been working with kids for years. And they'll say to me, Louis, I had a rumor used to do martial arts. I said, no, I don't believe that's rubbish. You know, because <laughs> I don't want, I don't go out there promoting, yeah. you know, if if, yeah. if someone asks me and then I will yeah. know, obviously go into that world, you know, but but I'm, I just want to help that person to show that I'm just another individual. I'm not a, I'm not a, you know, I'm just an individual. I don't want them to think me up there, yeah. in, you know, because uh, I always come down to people's levels. I never think because, yeah. oh, uh, you know, I got all these, I got all these gold medals, you know, I don't yeah. never, ever. In fact, yeah. see these. I, it's the first time I put these on in year, just to show you, Ray. I used to have oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> to say, you know, do, gold do, medals do, and all that. You know, I thought. Right. Do, 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 you, do you know what, Lloyd? It's, it's interesting because uh, <clears throat> I've, I've actually chucked all mine away. <laughs> well, um, funny, Ray. I was just about to say yeah. I did once chuck these in the bin. Chuck them away. I thought. Yeah. Well, I thought mm, maybe it might come in handy. Yeah. And over the years. You know, I've shot people, and I, yeah. I just, I just shot, and they said, "Who's his all that?" And I said, "So that's mine." He said, "No, you know." So, yeah, yeah. But you know, it's about you as an individual, isn't it? It's well, well, well it, it is. Yeah, and and the, re the reason I the reason I did that was because, um, well, well, two reasons. I, I've got a couple of big cuts that I won, and I, and yeah. I give that I give that out to students every year. Yeah, for student I've year. done. It, yeah, but but I thought to myself, do you know what? I was a different person then. Yeah. It, it, it was about me. Yeah. Uh, you know, I wanted to be this. And I wanted to be yeah. that or whatever. And I've done that and achieved that. But actually, it isn't yeah. about me anymore. I don't actually, I don't actually need them physically. I don't no, need them. No, no, yeah. no. So no. I've just, I've just gone, do you know what? They're, they're, they're in landfill in China somewhere now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so it's, 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 it's funny because what I do with these, with these same medals here, I have also yeah. got artifacts of, young people who've yeah. also made it you know yeah, yeah. And, I, and, I, and i put a collation of things to, and it just it's like a little journey so when i yeah. do talks to young people they're obviously in awe of it because yeah. they're not expecting it but yeah. i you know i, you know, I show people unfortunately unfortunately who's who, who are gone you know through yeah through, through obviously the divert the way they've gone obviously into crime some are unfortunately dead you know, yeah. some young people are dead, you know, Ray, and some have made it today, you know. You know, I have yeah. a young man today who's playing for England on Saturday, rugby. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I yeah. mentored him since he was, you know, since he was 12 years of age. And he's now England rugby player, you know, England rugby, yeah. you know. But, but he, was a, he was a troubled lad, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and I yeah. certainly never told him I'd done this. Yeah, I had to yeah. talk. I had to talk to him real, real talk, Ray. And sometimes yeah. with these kids, you just have to talk real. Yeah, yeah. And just to get into their heads, you know, because it's yeah, yeah. So what the temptations out there is unbelievable, right? Yeah, no, it it is, and um, I I think, and that that's 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 why I I, I like your your the type of way the, the way you are and your philosophy mm -hmm. because after I've, I was saying to somebody recently that you know in, in Taekwondo I'm known as uh, Master Gale, yeah, but the title that I treasure the most is Dad. <laughs> yeah, of course. I don't, I don't, I don't mind losing any title. They can call me whatever they like, but I, Absolutely. I want. But the one I want is Dad. That's the one yeah. I love the most. And hundred percent. And, and and just to add what you sorry to cut you there, but you yeah. know what? I've even been called Dad, and I'm a black man. As you already know, I'm a black man. Yeah. By 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 white young kids who says, well, you know what, Lloyd? You're yeah. more of a father to me than my own dad because they don't see their dads. No. And to no. me, like you just said, that's a bigger accolade than these than these. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I've made an impression on 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 somebody, I, 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 and it's nothing to do with color, you know. Yeah. It, yeah. As an individual, they see me as an individual, and and say, you know, I'm I'm more of a dad to them. I think what what you can't get no better accolade than that. Yeah, yeah. 
No, you, can, you, you, you can't. You can't. And that's important. And I think, it, yeah. I think that's, it, it, it's good because the, the, the other thing is, is that, you know, and I, I try to say to my students that your tournament life or journey doesn't last very long. No. Uh, and once that's gone, what else are you going to do? What, what, exactly. what, what else are you going to bring to the table? Absolutely. You know, you know, is is it just that? Because if it's just that, guess what? You, you, you're gonna you're gonna give up, and you and it's it's you're never gonna get that. For want of a better word, adulation. Because we we all, don't get me wrong, we all like the status. You know, I'm champion this, I'm champion that. Yeah. But once that's gone, okay, what else are you gonna do? Yeah, and, and to add what you said there, Ray, I think some of the the backbone what we have, you and I, and and, and our generation, we had that foundations yeah. from our parents, which which stand us in good stead in life, Ray. I, you, yeah. you know, there's, oh, there's many of our, well, especially my era in the 60s, I'm 66 and yeah. my generation, mainly nearly all of my, 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 my lot who I grew up with, they're all role models, positive role models in their fields. Yeah. I'll mention a name to you, even Tony Woodburn. Yes, yes, Tony Woodburn, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. grown up with him since I was a little baby and we're close even now. He yeah. is a circuit judge. Yeah. He's one of the first black you know, owned his own first black profession. Yeah. Uh, you know, solicitor, solicitor for me, first black in the country. Yeah, yeah. He was, yeah. you know. Yeah. But yeah, he's just yeah. a, again another humble man. Good. Well, it, you know? it, it is, and and the, and the and the thing is, is that you know, I've said this to many people. There are there are lots, and and it, and it is it is difficult because the the, the people like uh, Tony Woodburn, which I knew quite well. You know, he, yep. he was a, a neighbour of. Of my, of yeah, my aunt, yeah, aunt and yeah. uncle. That's right. Um, I know That's really, right. really well. That's right. It's probably very modest and doesn't want to be in the limelight. No. <laughs> Do you no. know what I mean? So you've got no. all the you've got all these, for want of a better word, and I will call them heroes, black heroes. Yeah. I will I will call them that. They wouldn't call themselves that. No. Uh, but they're yeah. not they're not in the limelight and they keep a low profile. But do you Absolutely. know what? They do an awesome, awesome job. Awesome. Absolutely. You know, you know absolutely. It, 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 it's uh, ho- hopefully at some point, you know, they'll, they'll get um, I don't call it the recognition, but but they'll they'll get what you know what what they deserve. They deserve to be. You, you um, know, you're not totally right. But what what he's done, you know, over the years, over the years, I'm telling you, he, he's, he's set the market, Tony. Yeah. How he's not got OB MB, I do not know. That man is unrelentless. What he does, what he, he does, but but because he's not not in the public eye, he's not very well known. Yeah. But you and I know in the communities he's well known, more known, and his, and his family were, you know. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's interesting. My, my um, I, I've got a, another hero of mine, a uh, black hero of mine is my uncle, and my yeah. uncle, my uncle is a is a bishop in Burton on Trent. Okay, okay. Um, and <laughs> he he was one of the, the the first black bishops in this country. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, he, he's he's a religious man, but I tell you what. Yeah. Every time I chat to him, he is so interested in my taekwondo, and he says that you know the values of the martial art are very similar similar to the to the values of Christ in the yeah. you know the courtesy, yeah. uh, being polite, yeah. uh, making yourself a better person, and so on. And whenever I get together with him, we we just chat and talk, um, yeah. and he, he's so respectful of, of what I do. Uh, yeah. it, it really is nice, and he is a massive role model to me. Just yes, massive. yes. The, our elders you can't you know you oh if it wasn't for our elders ray where would you and i be to be honest uh, oh know? exactly exactly yeah mm-hmm. but I, you know i have to say my, my mother was it's been the inspiration it still is in yeah. my life because i was thinking myself <laughs> well, what would my mum say <laughs> you, you know as you're saying that then i'm thinking of that i remember when my early days was like going back to my childhood days when i was you know i was I used to say to my mom, you know, people being racist to me. And, you know, as I was getting, you're talking about, I'm about 10, 11. And my yeah. mom told me the story when her and her dad first came to the England, England, yeah. you know, and, and and unfortunately, you know, what white people spit in her face. I think, what? Yeah. And she's yeah. and she was a strong Christian woman. And she, and she's got church, just like your, you know, your mom, yeah. the church every week. And she yeah. just yeah. turned the other cheek and just carried on her life. And uh, yeah. Uh, you, you know what I mean, Ray? That's yeah. That's what I call raw. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is. It is. It's a, uh, um, you know, and, and it, it, it's a, it's a legacy of um, uh, of kindness and uh, humanity that really, yeah. really, we have to continue as um, you know, as role models, as yeah. uh, as fathers, 
um, you know, as, as absolutely crucial you know, parts of our community. You have to you have to keep you have to keep that and say, yeah, we we know we've been there. Like, yeah, our parents have been there. Absolutely. Look, this is what you need to do. Absolutely, and and getting to now, you know, fatherhood is so important. It's so important because, uh, you know. It, it's embarrassing for me that you know I, over the years I've worked with many many young people and you know Ray I've only seen a tiny proportion of dads I, I can't I can't get my head around it why that is so you know and it's it's saddened to me even today as we speak about it you know you know because I've still got currently young people I work with they haven't seen their dad in years Ray yeah yeah you know what I mean yeah. and but they're influenced by the street life and I'm thinking you, you know if it wasn't for me trying to deflect them away from that street life they've been they've been trouble with police even to now ray you know yeah yeah it's sad you know and i think dads have to really make an effort you you know even if you're 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 broken up you know it takes two to make a child doesn't it ray you know what i mean yeah 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 and that's my philosophy in life you know definitely yeah 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 definitely and you always have to to be there and i was very conscious of that having kids that you know, I, I was never far away. No, I was always in their lives. Um, you know, and and thank thank goodness. You know, particularly my my older boys. Well, my eldest is what thirty six. Yeah. Uh, in a few months, and as, as we mentioned, James is thirty one. Oh, oh. And um, you know, I've I've always always make sure that you know that they they know where I am. <laughs> I, I, I'm the same as you, Ray. Again, I'm older than you, and I have the same. Mm. I have four children, four dual artist children. You mm. know, I've broken up with their their, their mums. You know, and but I've mm. always been there for my my children, Ray. Never, always, yeah, yeah. even to this day. You know, and they're big people now. And I have, and I've got consequently now. I've got fourteen grandchildren. You know, <laughs> wow, oh, that's good. it's never ending, mate. It's never that's ending. Awesome. You know, that's but, awesome. So I've always got children around me, Ray. I'm so. I'm a bit yeah. of an old Peter Pan, they might say, because, you know, <laughs> but I love young people, you know, I just love, yeah. and, 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 I, and I thank God that he's given me the power in the martial art, through the martial art world, through through me as an individual, that I've got some sort of, it's not power, I've got, it's got some sort of influence over people yeah, yeah. In, my ci- in my city of Bristol, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I, and I, and I don't talk about it, Ray. Mm. I, I, his action speaks louder than the words, and I'm an action person. Mm. I don't. I'm not a really a, a management person. And people who know me and say, over the years, I've had opportunity to be a manager, and I said, no, 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 no. I just want to be on the shop floor. I'm, a, I'm a, you know, a, yeah. I'm not into management. I, yeah. I'm a foot. I am a foot soldier. A foot soldier. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the well. Hey, that that's the the, the, the best the best thing to be. I think, and I'll be be uh, closer to the to the people that. Going Absolutely. To be, you're going to be making a, a difference for. Well, we are. We're sort of coming to the uh, okay. ca- coming to the end. But I, yeah. I don't. I don't know if there's. You know, I, I always say to one of my sayings um, generally is is try and enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey because the journey doesn't last long. Um, whatever you're doing, whether it's the, your competition life, whether it's your teaching life, whether it's you know your, your kids they grow up so quickly but you've got to yeah. try, try and enjoy that journey so yeah I, you know maybe for the for the young people not not just the martial arts people listening no. to this but the other people any anything that you can you can give them really yeah and, and, and i and i agree with your that sentiment is that is one of my words i use mm. where we are all every individual on a journey mm. and my journey is maybe coming to an end i don't know i don't know how the lord you know he, he, yeah. he, he chooses my time but we are all on a journey right yeah. and, and i totally agree with your sentiments what we can do in that during that journey is try to choose the good paths yeah. you know what i mean because yeah. you'll have good things if yeah. you do a diversion you could have yeah. serious consequences you know especially yeah. nowadays yeah. You know yeah, I mean? yeah 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 definitely well listen i i want to i want to thank you so much for for doing this um uh, and it's a uh, pleasure you know, I'm hopefully going to be uh, interviewing some of the other um, martial artists from the Bristol area because I think that the Bristol has a, a fantastic oh, history of martial arts in the absolutely. 60s, 70s, 80s and beyond. You know, people absolutely. like Winston Williams, Sean Vieira. I, you know, I, I, yes, those all those. Oh, absolutely. And Glenn Douglas as well. Glenn, Glenn. Glenn, Glenn Douglas. Oh, man. Um, yeah. You know, Glenn, Glenn. Uh, not people I haven't I haven't seen them for, for a long time. If, in fact, actually, I don't know if you remember it, but I don't know if you if you were there. The last time I actually saw a lot of those guys, 
um, I competed at um, Warfield Leisure Centre. It's called the Night of the Champions. Yes, I was there. Yeah, yeah. I, was there. Yeah, I brought, yeah. I brought, I brought some of my uh, taekwondo right. uh, people along. And actually, that was one of the last times I, because I, it, people don't know this, but it was the week before I was having a serious knee operation. Oh, right. <laughs> and people, people said to me, "You're not going to do that, are you?" I went, "Yeah, I'll be fine." <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, my my knees it was swelling like a balloon. <laughs> I couldn't move. Oh. But do you know what? I, yeah. Because somebody it was a, sort of a charity charity event. Somebody said, "Come on, do it." I said, "Yeah, go on." <laughs> and I tell you what, I couldn't walk for about six months after that. <laughs> You know, you know, right before I go, I gotta say, I respect respect you as well as a young, younger, younger generation than me. But yeah. you, you are icon in your, your own right, Ray. No, oh, thank no, you. and nobody <laughs> can deny that. You, you know, words can't express what you, in your in your world you you, you are you are. You, you, I can see what it maybe call you master too because you know. But humble, humble, and I and I applaud you, Ray Ray Gale. Thank you, and, thank and and Augie yeah, as well. Yeah, Augie, well, Augie, well, Augie. well, well, he, he, he's, he's, he's actually in Sri Lanka at the moment. His, his, ch- his two kids are fantastic cricketers. They both play oh, for Somerset Youth. But he's, he's watching his, his, his first son is in Australia at the uh, Joe Root Cricket Academy. Right. And his second son, which he is watching at the moment, is in Sri Lanka playing wow. cricket for Somerset. Wow. Um, and I tell you, they are, the, the other thing that they are, they are lovely boys, just like him. They are humble. Uh, yep. they're they're polite. Yeah. Oh, they're such nice kids. I I, I really hope that they make the grade in the oh, this lovely, lovely first, lovely. first class it? And if they do, don't forget your Uncle Ray, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I need hey. a ticket. I need a ticket. Icons. Icons. <laughs> Icons. Hey, listen, thank you ever so much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, it's a pleasure. Yeah, pleasure, those, Ray. those listening to this will be back soon. Um, I say I hope to to interview some more martial artists from Bristol and around the country. But uh, I just want to say thank you. What a fantastic man, Mr. Lloyd Russell. Uh, thank you. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless. Bye-bye.